you were probably expecting a 3D mock-up video today, and instead, we're going to be taking a look at the carriage, because I got stuck on it, because I was enjoying so much trying to design it. Welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, this video, thank you by the way for joining me. This video has an intro that's a little different. I decided to split this video, well actually to do two versions of it. One, a very short sort of summary video, and the other, an at the bench video, which is how I was originally planning on shooting this, but I know not everybody wants to watch the full hour length of me going on about it. Uh, so if you are at the at the bench video, know that there's a little short summary one. And if you're at the short summary one, know that if you're interested in more detail, there's the full at the bench video in the playlist right next to this one, like that. So what are we gonna look at today? We're gonna look at the carriage, uh, which I'm now calling the tourist touring carriage rather than I was gonna think about carriage bus. I don't know what to call it because it doesn't have horses. Is it a carriage? I'm calling it the touring carriage. And the reason we're looking at that and not the 3D mock-up, as I originally predicted, is that I wanted to design the carriage roughly so I knew what I'd be shaping to put in the, the mock-up. And because the carriage has some different elements like the, the steam, you know, tanks and, and pipework in the back and, and a long, you know, front wheel, there's some empty spaces and some full spaces. And I thought I should probably do the profile and start to get a sense of that. And as I was doing that, I got kind of swept up in it. I realized this is the most important element, I think, for, and most complicated piece for the display. And so I said, screw it. I'm just sitting down with it. And I'm just gonna design it out. Uh, so that's what we're gonna take a look at today. And um, I'll see you on the flip side. All right, so here are the plans uh, that I've been working on. And the final version you'll see will be quite different from this. Uh, I didn't realize actually until I was looking at it on my screen how much of a roadster it looks like. Uh, but I'll give you a, a, a brief synopsis of, of what I was thinking here. Um, first, um, how am I going to space the riders? Uh, two benches on top, maybe one lower and facing forward, and then have the driver out down here below the, the carriage. I kind of like the idea of having him close to the ground. How will the uh, gears, you know, integrate with the side of the body? Does it need to be recessed for them to sit, you know, so that the wheel can sit flush closer to the body of the vehicle? Uh, suspensions, do I need leaf springs for the vehicle uh, to keep this from bouncing all around? So this is my first draft. And my second draft, I started refining these ideas thinking about uh, lifting up the driver just a little bit and um, still having to push him a little bit forward compared to this because I need a little headspace for the driver as well. And, and this uh, was thinking maybe building it into the vehicle uh, to have a canopy over him. So I was kind of had some flowing line ideas and you can see that sweep in through here, which I subsequently abandoned and trying to bring that up to this recessed area. But I have um, a lot of unused space here, hence me lowering it. I have a lot of work to do in refining the, the pipe work and, and what that might look like. I came up with an idea here. You can see I have the axle now below the vehicle still, but thinking, wow, how else can I suspend it from the vehicle without doing leaf springs? I don't want to make leaf springs. So that was its own problem. And just before we leave this, uh, this is a uh, canopy I thought might fit well. But I realized as soon as I started um, putting it on that it was going to block your sight for all of the passengers that are riding on top of the vehicle. So this idea was out as well. This is the final version of the uh, carriage as it stands right now. I don't expect it to get any significant modifications, uh, you know, barring some kind of major difficulty during construction. Uh, but you can see uh, in the back, I've actually taken this axle and pushed it outside of the body of the vehicle. So I'm gonna have a suspension arm that holds the axle far away. And this allows me to have a larger wheel 
which I liked, and not have it uh, intruding. You know, if I had the axle all the way to here, you know, the wheel would be almost touching the door. So this gave me a chance to push that back. The exact distance is not known yet, but you get the idea. And for the front wheel, I realized I could do the same thing. I can have it on an arm that has a pivot so that the wheel can travel up and down and then have coiled springs for the suspension for it. Uh, so I felt pretty good about that uh, solution, but I moved the uh, third row of, of seat up to the top of the deck so I could lift up the driver, which feels a lot better and looks a little more penny farthing-ish, uh, which I think works better. And then I added a railing across the top and I'll show you some ideas about how I might uh, complete the railing. Uh, and then I decided maybe I'll put a canopy over the last row. So that's something that I'm still playing with in my mind and it will need more exploring, I think, as I get closer to that stage of the construction. Um, so that's maybe one thing that may or may not appear in the final design. One thing to mention though, is I haven't seen any examples in my reference photos of any way that people can get from the top of the vehicle to the bottom. Like they never show ladders, stairs, I don't know. So I started uh, putting in some stairs and how that exactly is gonna work wasn't quite clear in my mind. Uh, so I was gonna maybe only have two seats in this row and then have the stairs start here and then descend down, maybe with these folding up so they didn't come out too far. But then it occurred to me that I could have a little elevator platform, just like a little single person step, if you will, that then could ride down channels on the side of the vehicle to bring them up and down. And then I can put some little gears in or some rails or something like that to uh, facilitate that. And I, I, I gave myself a little pat on the back for that. I was like, that's gonna be a great little idea. Uh, exactly how that will look is yet to be determined, but it will occupy a very similar amount of space on the vehicle as my very rough mock-up of stairs uh, does here. And I made some, uh, a couple different versions of the windows and the doors along the way. Uh, and uh, this uh, setup, I feel pretty solid about it. I, I kind of like that look. Uh, so um, this gives you an idea of what the final carriage is like. And just before I go, I wanted to show you that um, I have some gears that I purchased on Etsy. There's a whole wide market of gears for the steampunk world out there. And I had purchased a bag for a project that I haven't done or will not do. It was just never came to fruition, really. I know that some of these will work in certain spots, uh, but these are too small for obviously for the major wheel, but would work in other spots. But I need some to be thicker as well. These are very thin. These are all watch gears. So I need to get some clock gears and I've done some looking around and I found some that I think are gonna work out pretty well. So I need to make another purchase of gears uh, for the project. But I did kind of play with them for about a half an hour trying to put some together, uh, get a sense of how they might work together. And um, I realized quickly that I need non-magnetic tweezers because lots of these little bits were sticking to these tweezers. These are ceramic tweezers uh, that I happen to have that I was using uh, once I realized that. And I may need to wear my magnifying goggles uh, because some of this is, it, these parts are very, very small. See this little watch hand right here? I have um, a couple that are even a little smaller than this. And those would be great for like uh, dials on pressure gauges and things like that in the back. So there's lots of, of fun little bits in here to work with and incorporate into the carriage. I also have a bag of watch hands and these um, led me to think, oh, I could use these for the railings. I could use this for like a railing post, and then I could use other hands for cross members, right? So right away I was like, oh, thank God, something for the railing, that would, because I need it to look a little dressy, uh, but not too dressy since this isn't a, a royal carriage, right? This is this is just livery for, for the common tourists. I realized that I can, uh, th pick out a variety of pieces uh, from my bag. And the thing is, I don't have enough uh, duplicates, but even in the small bag, there were several duplicates. So I can purchase a, a bigger bag, which I will be, of watch hands, and then I can have uh, a wide enough assortment to do what 
whatever I want with them. Um, but even here, right, we've got some extensions. This, this almost is large enough to hold the axle uh, for the back wheel, for instance. And I also have, um, I picked up a bag of larger clock hands uh, a ways back. And then I started to realize how this would be a nice little dressing maybe for the axle holder. Uh, this is too large of a hole, uh, but right, something to hold the axle. And then I could have a little metal dress work uh, that connects it to the vehicle's body. So little bits and, and bobs like this are gonna be uh, playing a major role in the construction of some of the items of the of the vehicle. Uh, some tricks that I have yet to solve in my mind is how I'm actually gonna make the wheels. I have some ideas on that that will take a little bit of play, uh, but um, hopefully this gives you a little sense of how the carriage is uh, going to look. So hope you enjoyed it and let's uh, cut back out to the stool. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. Um, it's uh, challenging to put that together and um, how I'm going to build some of the elements are a mystery to me, but I didn't let that stop me in terms of what I wanted to design. I just said, don't worry about how you're going to build it. Just think about what you want to build. Uh, but I have a lot of ideas and I have uh, explained several of them in the longer at the bench version. So if you're watching that version, sorry for repeating. Uh, but if you haven't seen that version, I talk quite a bit about different ways I'm going to tackle some of the more challenging pieces. So you can see that there if you're interested. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to do the uh, top version of it next. Uh, just And that should actually go comparatively quickly because it's dictated by the, the profile shot. Um, and then I can make a very rough mock-up. Trust me, I am not doing all the little doodads, but I just wanted the shape. Uh, and then I can put that out and see. And I have some modifications for the diorama uh, in mind, but I don't want to tell you what those are right now. So think of that as a little, a little teaser, get you back, right? Hopefully, hopefully you'll come back. Um, and if you are enjoying my videos and you enjoy this channel, if you wanted to support me on Patreon, that's a tremendous help to keeping this channel going. And you can follow the link, which will be there, I believe. Um, there's also a PayPal me link in the description if you are not interested in becoming a patron. Um, it's a great way though, patron, to see all snippets and behind the scenes and some extra content. Uh, also, I'm on Instagram, which I think is here. Um, and I'm not super frequent on it, but I'm also not absent on it. Maybe a photo week, maybe fre more frequently varies a little bit. Um, so that's another way to kind of get sneak peeks at what is going on. But before I go on too long, I will wrap it up here and say, uh, hopefully you will be coming back to see the top version and the 3D mock-up. That's the goal for next week. Do my best. Uh, and you'll come back to see that because you know that I will be back soon with another Terrence Scapes video.